And it is a little bit dangerous to source your foods from the wild. We're going to 33 degrees north, 116 degrees west. Desert food compilation. These are the ancient seabeds of a Cretaceous ocean, leaving behind coral reef deposits, a immensely caustic soil for most root systems. The natives used the convex shapes of these cave systems as a means of producing a very important food and one that is still commonly used today, agave syrup. This is the agave deserti, an important source of minerals and carbohydrate sugars for the native Cahuilla and surrounding native group. These and surrounding native group. These are mesquite trees which provide a very uncommon food, but nevertheless a delicious one, the mesquite bean, which helps to lower blood sugar and is very good for people with type A diabetes. But Apuntia ficus indica was a food that I partook in on Catalina Island. It tastes a lot like pomegranate and it was a little bit difficult to eat. I needed to first remove the fruit from the body of the cactus. Sometimes the thorns have fallen off and they are easier, but usually those are really, really old woody fruits that, I mean, it can be overly ripe and still on the cactus and you can find yourself a decaying piece of fruit. You have to be really selective about which one that you choose. I had tweezers with me just in case I got splintered. Now we're going to my home, 33 degrees north, 117 degrees west. Beautiful, beautiful area of the world. And this is some Mesozoic red earth trails. So there, these are avocado groves, cherimoya groves, a lot of things that are not grown there anymore due to escalating prices of water. However, it's situated at such a unique and ideal area. The surrounding hills create a microclimate of their own, controlling the moisture, mostly through the directions of the winds. Another interesting phenomenon is it doesn't burn. The brush around here is is thick, thick mountains. There are no coyote trails in the underbrush to speak of. So those are, oh my god, elderberries, so good. Elderberries are an incredible medicinal plant, as is the Brazilian pepper tree, Chinus mole. And here is the Champiata australis, an incredibly rare medicinal plant. It smells like Vicks. It has a very potent smell. And I've used it for cough medicine. Native lore says that it was used even for skin conditions like eczema and other ailments. And it does have a distinct scent of camphor, like a camphor tree from Australia. But it is here in the Southern California region. It is a brambling kind of shrub. The root systems will take over the entire north face of a mountain.